Alright, hey guys, it's Kristen. We're doing chapter four of High School Story. Jumping right into it. Uh, not a lot happened in the last episode, really. But this is going to be about the fight that's about to break out. I am probably going to not have the best judgment. Tuesday morning. Oh, we're going to replay this? Caleb stands towering over Brian. He balls up his fist. Brian rises to meet him on the eye. Can't take it anymore. Caleb, you gonna hit me? I'd like to see you try. Caleb grabs Brian by the collar and holds up a fist. Want to say that again? Brian looks shocked for a moment. Then he grins and punches Caleb in the stomach. He stumbles backwards. Oof. <laughs> Thanks for giving me an easy shot. Oh no you don't. Susan start to crowd around as Caleb runs at Brian and hits him in the jaw. Chanting erupts. Fight! 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 I'm sure it wasn't all Morgan saying it, but still. <laughs> you push your way to the center and... Oh, gosh. You yell at them to pull Caleb away. Punch Brian. I really want to punch Brian, but I really should mind my own business. Uh... I want you to let them stop. Stop it, both of you. But boys freeze and turn to look at you. You're going to get us, all of us in trouble. Um, actually, Emma points to the door where Miss Issa, the vice principal, is standing. Everyone gets quiet. What are you doing? She gestures to you, Caleb, and Ryan. Me, but come with me. Principal Hughes will want to know what to do with you. Three of you take your things and follow Miss Issa to the principal's office. Principal Hughes greets you with a warm smile. Good morning, children. How are you today? Principal Hughes, these three were fighting. Oh my goodness. Did you get a boo-boo? I got some band-aids in the door. Um, Principal Hughes? Right, take a seat. Three of you pull out chairs and sit down, and awkward silence fills the room as you all wait for Principal Hughes to go on. Okay, we're all going to take turns and talk about why you're here. What's your name, little boy on the left? Uh, Sebastian? <laughs> Sebastian, could you please tell us why you're here? Um, the fight. Question mark? I didn't do what he say. It's true, Brian and I were the ones fighting. Sebastian was only trying to stop us. But we're only here because he got involved. How does that make sense? How does that make any sense that you would have, you, boy, she would have walked out the door either way. <laughs> uh-uh, anyway, no, you're only here because you punched Caleb. Yeah, well, if I wouldn't have get, done it if you hadn't get in my face. Wouldn't have gotten it in your face if you hadn't stolen my girlfriend. Silence, all of you. Why are you here, Vice President? So go away. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, children. Don't you remember what Purple the Turtle always says? Be nice to each other? I mean, that's a nice sentiment, but... Yes! You're smart, children. I know you can be better than this. Now, normally I would take away your resource for a month, but we're trying to t a new tactic this year called Positive Reinforcement. The three of you will be required to give back to the school by working with Maria Flores on the homecoming committee. Homecoming committee? Oh no, anything but that. Been to school for two days and even I know to be terrified of Maria. You'll need some courage, but I know you can do it. After all, you won't be able to overcome your fears unless you face them. S say what? Your first meeting is this afternoon. Three of you walk slowly back to class. So Caleb, guess what? Caleb keeps his eyes straight ahead and doesn't say a word. Caleb? Earth to Caleb, your best bud Brian is trying to talk to you. You're not funny, Brian. I'm not trying to be. Like, I know it's kind of weird that my new girlfriend is your ex, but I don't see why we can't handle her jealousy much. Why? Why, will he sh why won't he just die? Seriously, <laughs> Brian? Oh my god. I would know what all of these options. I think word mature was in your vocabulary. Sure it is. It means being happy for your friend when he and the girl he's been dating for three months finally become official. Three months? 
Yeah, start off as a summer play. I tell you all about it later. Point is, we can still be bros. How about it? No way, Brian. Whatever. You're lost. You, she's been cheating on him for three months with you, Brian, and you're freaking trash. Ah! I'm sorry for screaming. I'm, I'm actually holding back. I want to scream louder. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm certainly not feeling so well. I think it might be best if I take the rest of the day off, you know? Bye, losers. He turns a corner and disappears. So that's it. Ten years of friendship. Just over. We reach out and give Caleb a hug. Thanks for staying out for me, Sebastian. Without you, all this would have been so much worse. No problem. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I should have cut Brian out a long time ago. Come on, we should get to class before Miss Maddox worries. We can talk more during homecoming committee. Alright. Go. Okay. After school, you head to the gym where the homecoming committee is supposed to meet. Maria stands at the front, surrounded by a small group of popular girls, plus Caleb. I can't believe homecoming is only six weeks away. Do you think I can convince Wes to wear a suit to the dance? You question on any cute guys, Sydney? Um, not really. Cause she's probably crushing on a girl. I don't know. That 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 was that looked like a very secretly gay response. <laughs> that that like, when I was in the closet. Um, no, not really. No, nope, not crushing on anybody. Yeah, no, totally not. Further back, you see a group of kids in dark clothing whispering to each other. I still can't decide whether punish us with homecoming committee is genius or idiotic. I'd say idiotic. Anything else would be giving Hughes too much credit. At least it beats picking up trash on the side of the highway. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Sebastian, you're two minutes late. Oh, sorry I had to make a bathroom stop? That's no excuse. I was this close to reporting you tardy to Principal Hughes. Pee faster next time. I uh, um... Looking for the back Snickers. Look, I'll let it go this time because you're new. But don't let this happen again. There are... There are only six weeks until homecoming, and everything's got to be perfect. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Sebastian Valdez and Caleb Mitchell, the newest members of the homecoming committee. Hey there. Caleb, why don't you tell us your favorite thing about homecoming? Caleb's face crunches as if he's trying to suppress a frown. I like the football game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sebastian, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna say give me a chance to sow my school spirit. <laughs> People think it's all about the game and the dance, but it's so much more than that. Yeah, good. I don't want her to be angry at me. She scares me. Exactly. It's a time when everyone at Barry High is united by their love for the school. What love for the school? Kids in the back snicker. God dang it, Michael. Don't listen to them, Sebastian. We're glad to have you. Yeah, here it comes up with me. Payton scoots through his thigh and you take a seat next to her. Now everyone, look around. You, the room where Coach Burns. <laughs> Cole is great. Um, I'm sorry. The room where Coach Burke forced me to do that stupid running test. Wrong. I mean, maybe you're right, but wrong answer. Anyone else? I'm slowly raises her hand. A blank canvas. Exactly. In a few short weeks, this room will be full of happy tigers here to come celebrate homecoming. I've clicked really fast. <laughs> we're happy. We're here to ha make sure their night is magical. To that end, I've selected two possible things for this year's dance for us to vote on. Under the Sea and Happily Ever After. Ha, huh, that's your idea of magical? Seriously? Well, I don't see you coming up with any better ideas, Morgan. You want one? Fine. How about a 90s retro ra rave? Do you think I don't know what happens at raves? We watched a whole video about them in health class. Oh, Maria. 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 They're... Okay. <laughs> Did you really? Dang. <laughs> well, that's karma, I guess. The whole reason I'm here is because I skipped health too much last year. Maria crosses her arms and looks at the rest of you. Okay, so it looks like we've still got two options. Let's take a vote. I'm voting for the for retro rave. <laughs> If you want to throw away your vote, that's fine with me. I'm pretty sure it actually can be Retro Rave, because if all of the slacker kids vote for it, and there's like three or four of them, you just need a few other people to vote it. 
Everyone else, please raise your hand when I call out the theme you like to watch. Let's look at Under the Sea. I know which one's my favorite of the three, but maybe I'll pick a different one this time. I See, I like Under the Sea, but I don't really like Under the Sea. I like Retro Wave more than Under the Sea. Um, I, I, and I, if, I feel like if, if it fit the, like, school more, if the school was in like a beachy area or something, I don't know. I don't know, man. The jellyfish would freak me out a little bit. I'd be very concerned about the jellyfish lights. I don't know. Not a thing. We're just, let's just let's just move on. Let's move. Let's move on. And happy live after. I love this. This is so me. Um, at first, I, the only thing I don't I don't really love the stone paths coming out into the place, but I think that's an interesting walkway into the zone. It seems like that's the interest of the of the like dance place over there too. So like I don't know. I love those lights. I think they're, they're probably higher enough up, maybe. Um, and I just like this design. A lot. So, yeah. I'm gonna vote for half flavor after you guys. <laughs> but tell me in the comments which one you like the best, actually. Because it may... I'll, I'll probably end up playing this game again eventually. Because I definitely want to do a different route um, after this one. And the winner is half flavor after. I'm guessing this won't be a deconstruction of the concept. <laughs> Point taken. Shiny, happy, joyful, fun times. Got it. Anyway, now that we've got our theme, it's time to get started on creating the decorations. We're going to need a lot of banners, so let's split off into teams, okay? Yeah! <clears throat> All committee members, quickly partner up. You look around and see that Caleb, Maria, and Michael are left. I mean, I probably should pick Caleb because, like, the guy needs some, like, help right now. But, like, I'm, I mean, obviously, this is free time with Michael. So, obviously, going to take this time to spend some time with Michael. I want to work with Michael. Michael really can use a better outfit, though. Want to work together? Yeah, sure. You get a piece of banner paper and start mixing paint. So Sebastian, rumor has it, you got into a fist fight this morning. <laughs> a fight? I'm gonna say yeah, so what? Because he's kind of a bad boy. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, just want to have pegged you for the type, is all. I'm not less Brian's involved. <laughs> Understandable, people may think I'm the delinquent at the school, but that guy's the real trouble. Knows that he failed to show up today. He said he was going to take off for the rest of the day. Probably faking sick. Of course. I bet he'll use daddy's connections to get out of this for the rest of the semester. But that's life. What I meant to say was, good for you for standing up to Brian. Most people don't have the guts. Well, thanks. So, are you going to help me with this banner? I would, but it seems like you're doing fine on your own. <laughs> So there's a type. Th oh my god! <laughs> so in the high school story game, there's different types of characters, and Michael's obviously the slacker type. Okay, okay, but when it comes out looking like crap, don't say I didn't warn you. You quickly finish the banner with a little help from Michael and present it to Maria. Wow, your my first one's done, and this isn't too bad. How about you guys get started on another? Actually, Maria, I was thinking since Sebastian and I are done early, maybe we could go on a food run for the group. Don't be ridiculous, Michael. I'm running a dance committee here, not a dating committee. Wow! <laughs> Maria, that's not what he meant! <laughs> you look more at Michael who's murky. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tempting offer, but no. I was just thinking <laughs> this afternoon might be a little more bearable on a full, full stomach. I don't know. We really do need you. Ah, uh, come on, Maria. Let them go. Yeah, they prove they they're, that they're fast workers, and we're all paint. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, they proved that they're fast workers and will all paint much better when we're not hungry. <laughs> well, okay. So, Sebastian, what do you say? Shall we head to the diner? Michael, let's go. I forgot I spent diamonds on this last time <laughs> when I was doing my Aiden run at the diner. Hi, we like two vanilla milkshakes, four strawberry, two large coffees, and seven orders of fries to go. Oh my god, it's Fred. My curling. It's, <laughs> it's, it'll be ready in 15 minutes. I really think he looks like the guy from My Carlin. You pay for the food, and the waiter disappears into the kitchen with your order. You and Michael take seats by the counter, but a nearby couple stops you. Oh, fudge. Excuse me, but you're in our seats. Spade. I don't believe it. Oh, look, it's Michael. Get away from our counter. Your counter? And who's this? Your boyfriend? Be nice. I'm not like either of them are in a position to have high, any high standards. Then why? Ooh. Oh, really? Who are you anyway? <laughs> Max, and this is Kara. We're seniors at Hurst and kind of a big deal. It's a scram. Fine. I would not have got up. I would not have got up at all. I mean, like, unless you want to actually do something about it and like remove me from the seat, you should step away. Because I don't think you'd win in a fight against me right now. But that's just me. I'm violent. Why am I so violent? <sighs> anyway, I'm not actually in real life, you guys. I don't know. I don't get into these situations with people, though. Messed. Anyway. Michael leads you to a booth on the other side of the diner, far away from the couple. Michael leads you to a booth on the other side of the diner, far away from the, from the couple. Who were those guys, Michael? You heard them, Max and Cara. They got hearse. Yeah, but what's their deal? The usual. They're snooty athletes who think they're better than anyone else, and they make my made my life at Hearst but high a living hell. You went to Hearst? Yep, I transferred about a half a year ago. What happened? Long story, bottom line is I don't miss it, and those two are one of the many reasons why. We glance over the counter again. A waiter is calling out an order, but you can't hear it. Do you think that's for us? Shouldn't be. Hasn't been long enough. Doesn't sound like we'll be able to hear our order from here. Well, going back to the counter isn't an option. Suddenly, a new song starts playing for the jukebox in the back of the restaurant. Max jumps up. I hate this song. Well, I heard that loud and clear. Can't say I blame them. The problem with jukeboxes is that they're subject to abuse by people with terrible taste. Our trolls. The two of you look at each other. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Time for some jukebox war warfare. <laughs> Time for some jukebox warfare. The two of you walk casually up to the jukebox and put in five quarters each. That should be enough to drive anyone crazy. So what song should we play? I, I vote for what's new, Pussycat, to be honest. The classic annoying jukebox song. I like your style. <laughs> oh, oh my god. This is gonna be beautiful. Michael introduces the song, Anne, and the two of you return to your seats and wait for the song to come on. First time the song plays, Max and Carl roll their eyes. The second time, they eye you suspiciously, but you feign innocent. Guess though, she's sucking on a lemon. <laughs> The fourth time, Max jumps up. That's it. I can't take it anymore. Kara, let's go. Max and Kara shoot you one lad's dirty look before rushing out of the diner. You and Michael take your rightful places at the counter. Ah, sweet success. <laughs> I'm surprised to you, but Sebastian. Really? I thought you were going to be another goody two-shoes. Turns out... Order for Sebastian. That's me. You and Michael take the meals and head toward the door. We'll take the meals and head toward the door. As you're leaving, what's new Pussycat starts to play for the fifth time. Okay, who did this to the jukebox? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful. Back at school. Let's play this quickly. I messed up so much. They're back. 
We came bearing milkshakes. Yes, gimme! Excuse me, I think seniors should get priority. <laughs> okay, okay, everyone, form a line. You'll all get your food. And everyone should thank Michael and Sebastian for getting this for us. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you! All right, I'm good. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you and Michael distribute the food and everyone returns to work with renewed enthusiasm. Woo! Two hours later. Okay, everyone, that's the meeting. Hang on, before we go, could I get a picture with one of the banners for the yearbook? Maria looks around at the large collection of beautiful banners. I don't see why not. Great work, great work everyone. She picks up a banner and a big group joins her behind it. Smile. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a really good one, actually. Yes, it will be our best dance ever, Maria. I'm gonna screenshot that. It's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Um turns to the group standing off to the side. Are you guys sure you don't want to be in the photo? Wes. Sorry, Adam, I think we're good. This was more fun than I thought it was gonna be, but we're not exactly yearbook material, you know? Well, I'm glad you had some fun. I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone. Is that it? What else can happen? Oh, snap. You walk out to the parking lot and look around for a moment, allowing your eyes to adjust to the sunlight. You see someone standing by Caleb's car. It's Emma. Emma? Internally gasping. You hurry over to where she's standing. Hey Emma, what are you doing here? Sebastian, hey, could you hide for a few minutes, maybe in your car? Um, okay, why? Well, hear a voice from behind you. See you tomorrow, Sebastian. Emma! Wait, Caleb, can I ask you something? <laughs> I'm so off today. Uh, sure. I, um, was, like, wondering if you'd maybe want to, you know, um, go out sometime with, you know, me? <laughs> what? Emma closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. I was wondering if you'd like to go out with me sometime. What an end chapter, actually. This is gonna... Oh. Next time on High School Story, Caleb gives Emma her, his answer and activity tryouts begin. Oh, gonna go be a cheerleader. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, right? Good stuff? No, it wasn't really good stuff. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that ends that episode. Sorry, I was kind of messy in the latter half of it. Uh, my boyfriend came home, so I was, like, reading it in front of him and, like, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I gotta film these one by myself. I didn't expect them to come out when it came out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next book. Uh, bye, everyone.